guys, so I know I am so way, way, way behind. I'm finally getting to my vacation video, what I bought, what I did, and my mini album and how it turned out. So, um, I've been back for I think two weeks now, and it's so hard to get back into the swing of things, and I'm still playing catch up, and then, um, I've been helping my mom and dad on all my free time and day off to get their house ready for Christmas and Thanksgiving. They have a huge, huge, huge house, and we're just going through every single room, um, reorganizing, cleaning out, donating, um, so it's a huge job, because their house is huge, um, so it's a lot of work, so I'm so sorry for this late video, but I'm finally getting a chance to make it, um, so, this is about my trip, let me find my buckets right here, Molly, where are you going? Molly's sneaking off, she, you guys know she doesn't like the camera. Um, so this is the mini album that I made. Turned out really cute. I love it. So this is really fun to make. Um, I think first what I'm going to do is show everything I bought and then half, um, when I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and show you the mini album. Or I might end up making a separate video. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. Um, let's put this over here. Okay. So this is kind of going to be, everything's a little bit mixed up now since I've been back, but I'm just going to go ahead and start, and some of this is scrapbooking and some is not, but I'm going to show the majority of the stuff I bought. So one of the coolest things I found was actually at Goodwill, I found all these paper punches for $2 each. So we've got like a scallop circle here, $2, brand new, still in the package, got this really pretty, um, like daisy thing. Um, this one I've already used, it was a plain circle punch, the same size as the scallop, but a plain circle. Um, I got this chevron one, two dollars, I could not believe that, Goodwill. And this like broke, um, what is this called? Hmm, I don't know what it's called, but, um, this pattern. So, these are fun. Punches I don't normally buy, too expensive, take up too much room, I love my cameo. But for $2, and I figured these three plus actually the, the circle are basic shapes, and then this one I just thought was pretty, so I went ahead and got it. Then we went to Hobby Lobby, and I do have Hobby Lobby here, it's just a bit of a drive. So let's see what I found at Hobby Lobby. Let me get all this together. Okay. At Hobby Lobby, everything I bought was 40 to 50% off. I think it was all 50% off, but I can't be positive. So I got these Paper Studio stickers. They're normally $2.49, and they are religious ones, and I love the handwriting. And I don't really have any religious stickers, so I really thought these were pretty. His love endures forever. The Lord bless you and keep you. So I really like these stickers. Cannot wait to use those. Um, these were also $2.49. But like I said, I think all these were half price. And I'm sure these are not new to most of you, but um, because I don't really go to Hobby Lobby that often, unless I go to work with James, then I don't really get to go. So then I picked up this um, Lifetime Collection 6x6 paper pad from Prima. This is not new, but it was 50% off, so it's only $3. And I just think it's a pretty vintage paper pad. And I use it for... Um, the Prima Dolls, I believe, and these are really fun to cut apart. And I just have this infatuation with um, paper pads, I don't know why. And I love mini albums, so maybe that's why, I don't know. <laughs> and then I got this to alter, it's normally $4, it's um, not wooden, but it's like that cheap compost board, I don't know what it's called. But instead of being $3.99, I got it for, you know, 2 bucks. I thought that was pretty, and that'll be fun to alter. I totally had to get these. You actually had 34 stickers in here, and they were $1.49 regularly, and they're just little, like, glasses, whether they're nerd glasses or trendy glasses, all different ones. So I had to get those, and I like these maybe for some Christmas craft crafts, and these are normally 3 bucks, so, you know, $1.50. These are fun to put in flowers. These are big red ones, so I thought maybe for Christmas they might come in handy. And then I thought this was the cool thing. This was on sale for $5 instead of 10 And it's like, make your own snow globe. And then you put a picture in there. So, 
I'm not sure who this is going to go to yet. It could be my brother, my youngest brother loves snow globes. So I might make it for him, might make it for mom and dad, might do it for my granny M, which was my grandma. I don't know yet, but it was so cute. I just had to get it for five bucks. I thought that was super cute. Had to get that. So that was from Hobby Lobby. Um, I also went to a scrapbook store. That was one of the first things I did because, well, I was going there anyways. Um, but I forgot my stinking paper trimmer. And you know why? So I did a video on what I was taking West Virginia, my cute little, um, craft bag and such. But the thing was, the paper trimmer wouldn't fit in the, um, Ziploc bag. So naturally it got left. Which hits whatever, but I was like trying to scrapbook on the way up, and I really, it was really hard because I had to use scissors to cut a straight line, and it just, I like the line to be straight. I'm not a perfectionist by any means, but I would like my paper to be straight, you know, not cut kind of crooked. So, anyways, at the um, Almost Heaven scrapbooking store in West Virginia, yes, I'm trying to think, was it in Beckley? I can't remember, but um. She was super nice, and we talked to her for a while. I'll talk about it more when I do the book that I show. Um, but anyways, I picked up this paper trimmer because I was so desperate I needed one. Um, I got these really pretty thickers. They were five bucks. I do not have these ones. They're foam, and they're called Boardwalk. Well, I don't have them in this color. So naturally, you know, I needed to get them. As if I don't have enough thickers. And I got some little white binder rings, which I am using on my hip to be square book. Just these little white binder rings I picked up at her shop. And I think that's about it. I can't really remember what else I got. But I kind of just got basic stuff. And then, let's see, we went to this really fun, it's called, um, Darn it, I can't think of what it's called, of course, but primit it's like a primitive store. That's what a lot of the same shops were called that had those type of things. Um, so I don't know, if, depending on where you're at, you might you might not have it, but it was this really cool primitive store. I don't think I saved the business card, but it is in West Virginia, and it's in, it's either in Ripley, West Virginia, or Ravenswood, West Virginia, and they... Oh my goodness, that was the cutest store ever. I could shop there all the time. So, um, I picked up this little hand towel for the kitchen. And it's cotton. It just says hand wash wool 1888. And I like that it's vintage looking. It was only $4.40. And um, it's actually got a little Velcro thing for the oven, which I love. And it was so funny because my mom and my Aunt Robin were kind of shopping. And then I kind of just go off and shop on my own sometimes. It wasn't a super big store anyways. And it's so funny because I finally meet up with my mom and my Aunt Robin. And my mom was holding the same one. It was just, it was weird. It was funny. I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then I ended up picking up these little burlap type ribbons. They were only a dollar each. So I got red, orange, and like the brown burlap color. So I thought that was a good deal. And then I picked up... Oh, here we go. I picked up two packages of rusty bells that are 20 millimeter, and that's there's 12 in each, and they were only a dollar fifty a package. I got the last two, and my ideal for this is either holiday crafts or tie it on the top of the Christmas packages. So for a dollar fifty, I thought they were real cute. Um, and then I got these two rusty stars. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but they were like. 5, 10, 15 cents each. I don't even remember. Something cheap. So I was like, I gotta get those. So I got those at that store. Um, something else that we got. We went to Amish Country in Ohio, which was super fun. I'm gonna t tell you guys about that when I do my um, video on my book. But anyways, we went to um, Amish Country. We went, we went to one of the flea markets. And, of course, I saw a little doggy... Um, setup thing where they had clothes. I'm like, Mom, Mom, look! And so Grandma, who is my mother, to my Molly Dolly, um, we got her a dress. And it's the West Virginia Mountaineers fabric. And oh my goodness, it was, um, it was $16, which isn't bad, especially for dog clothes and it's handmade. But 
we decided we were going to do Christmas pictures. This one's for Charles, and this, he's a boy dog, so we'll just go, like, on his, um, you know, the back of his neck. And then we got one for Mr. Max, who's our standard poodle. So we got two bandanas and then one dress, and we're going to do our Christmas pictures in those, and I thought that was so cute, and I cannot wait. She looks adorable in this dress, by the way. Those of y'all who are dog lovers and love to see pictures of Molly, don't worry, I will definitely, definitely post them. Um, then at one of the um, thrift slash, it, they don't, they have thrift stores in Ripley, but it's, to me it's more like antique shops, vintage stuff, it's, um, it's not all expensive, but it's, it's definitely more antiques than what if I think of a thrift store. So anyways, I got these um, two old school records. They were 50 cents each, and I thought that they would be fun to alter. They're just the mini ones. Um, this is J.P. Morgan and Billy Don't Be a Hero, Bo Donaldson and the Haywoods. I have no idea who those are, but um, these are going to get altered at some point. I thought that was fun. Um, of course, I brought back Molly, a little doggy toy. She likes... Um, toys that are really long. I don't know why. So I got this in North Carolina or Georgia. It was two bucks. I thought it was cute. Oh, I actually picked this up at the Ripley West Virginia dollar store. Isn't that cute, you guys? Even though I live in Florida, I was like, for a dollar, even if I only wear it like once or twice. And I did wear it in West Virginia, so I did get my use out of it, but I thought that was cute. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a little bit things. Um, at other Mar TJ Maxx for $1.49, I got these little stamps. Just for $1.49, I thought they were cute. I like the Hello Bubble, really. That's cute. $1.49. And then I went to the most amazing craft store. Those of you who live in West Virginia, Michigan, and there's one other somewhere. It's called Crafts 2000. Oh my goodness. It's the most amazing craft store. It's kind of like... <clears throat> it's kind of like... How do I explain it? It's like the Walmart of art stores. Like every, they, they do put stuff on sale, but everything's already super cheap. And it's not like the, it's all old junk. Like they get newer stuff. I don't know how brand new stuff they get, but... The stuff that they had was within the last six months, and I thought the prices were phenomenal. And then for whatever reason, everything rang up even cheaper than it was labeled, so it must have been on sale and not marked. I have no idea. So first thing I got at Crafts 2000 is this 12 by 12 clear box. I think it was like three bucks on sale. I mean, super cheap. And these are great for, um, to go. Um, I got these Jerese, um embossing folders for a dollar each. Can you see that's a banner one? Can you believe that? A dollar on clearance. And then I got this um, giraffe one for a dollar as well. I know it's kind of hard to see because the glare, but this is a giraffe one. And then this is the cute little banners at the top. But for a dollar each, could not pass it up. Love those. And I was so excited when I saw this and I was like, it was supposed to be like six dollars and I was totally cool with paying that. Neither came up like two or three dollars. Came up even or no, it came up a dollar ninety nine. It was two dollars. And um it's a Jerese embossing folder, but it's a ruler. Again, I know it's hard to see because the glare. But it's a ruler, it's two rulers. It's a big one and then a thinner one. And they are together. But if you just wanted one, you know, you could just put enough paper in there for one of them or do both and cut them apart, you know, so you can make it easy. Um, I got this little bling. I think this was 50 cents for 100 pieces and they're self-stick. And it's not like regular bling, it's kind of like iridescent color. It's probably not going to show up too well on here. Kind of hard to see, but it's really just bling. That's all it is. Then I totally scored on all this snap stuff so this is the snap studio stuff and oh my goodness guys and girls i totally scored like look at these stamps three dollars and where i'm at i did not see these at all unless i just missed them and they got sold out but three bucks 
You get um, all the days of the week. You get a calendar. You get the numbers down here. You get a little camera. And again, I know this isn't brand new, but for $3 and I never got it before, I was totally excited about that. Really excited. I got that. Then I got these stamps. Can't remember how much they were, but I'm sure these were under $5. So I thought these were really cute. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a close up on these. But anyways, the Swordcraft 2000, it was so much fun to go in. I could have spent all day there, literally. See the giraffe embossing folder, and then the banner, and you can kind of see the ruler now. Then I got these super fun snap stickers. And I think these are new. But, um, again, everything was so cheap. I mean, these were probably like two bucks. And you get all those. So, like, 50 cents a sheet. Um, these were a dollar. These were on clearance. They have this huge sale area in the back. These are just, like, journaling note cards. Just real basic. Same thing that's on the front um, for a dollar. You can pass it out. Had all the same colors. These were also on clearance for I think two dollars. Just all the same little sticker sheets, just in different colors. But for two bucks, I totally could not pass it up. And then the front one is like a mix of colors. Then I got these stickers. I had never bought these stickers before. These were also on clearance because you got the red mark and the black mark. Two bucks. Again, I know these are not new, but it's fun to get stuff so cheap, especially when you didn't get it before. I think this was a dollar, two dollars. It's just one um, snap pouch with a zipper. But I thought that would be fun to put extra memorabilia in. And then I got two more things from Crafts 2000. I had been dying for these stamps. Um, I also think these were $1.99 for the Bow Bunny ones. I really wanted these because the O Snap. I mean, I love all of them, but and I love this. But I thought those were so cute. And the only reason I got these because they were $0.50. Cents. And who doesn't love arrows? But 50 cents, super cheap. So I ended up spending like 20 bucks, I think, at Crafts 2000 for all this fun stuff. And then, let's see, I bought clothes and jewelry. I'll show some of the jewelry. I know you guys normally don't like to see the clothes, and they're already in the washer. Really, except for this shirt. Um, I got this shirt at TJ Maxx. It was only $12.99. And me living in Florida, tank tops I wear all the time. So I thought that was cute. It was like 13 bucks. And then I bought a couple dresses, shirts, you know, just normal stuff. And then actually when I got back from vacation, I stopped by Target when I was working because we had to get some candy before the movies, of course. And um, I picked up these really cute uh, letter stickers at the Target dollar bin. And I had to get this. This little burlap pillow for three dollars at Target. I thought it was so cute. Three bucks at Target. I thought it was really cute. So it's about, you know, it's not too big, but perfect for three bucks. And then I bought some jewelry. Um, a lot of it's already put away, but I'll show what I haven't worn yet. And these were only two dollars a piece from Charlotte Rouge. And I totally like obnoxious, chunky costume jewelry. I think it's so fun to wear. So I got that. And then I got this, which I did end up wearing in West Virginia. This pink and black and gold one. And I got this one. I think it's funny I'm putting all these on for you guys. And then I got this fun little black one. It's got a little, so this one's black and gold, and I got some other pieces, but I've already put them away, and I don't even see them, to be honest. Oh, it's right here. Um, 
right, this one's new. All the other ones I've already had, but, um, I have a, I have a gold jewelry stand, and then I've got one for all my silver bracelets, so. I like to keep it all nice and organized, so thank you guys so much for watching, and, um, stay tuned, because I'm going to be making a video on the mini album that I created and talking a little bit more about the trip. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon.